Hello everybody! And welcome back once again to Let's Play Stainless Steel, the Portuguese campaign. Right, in the last session, we were expanding our forces. King Enrique was getting itchy feet and was about to launch an attack on the Moors. However, they beat him to the punch. Declaring war by blockading our port at Lisbon. They're also at war with Leon as well. We tried to bring Aragon into the fight, but unsuccessfully. Reason being is we were offering to attack the Moors, which made no sense at all because we were trying to ask them. But uh, our princess got a bit confused. Meanwhile, our diplomat down here is heading to the Papal States. So what on earth are we going to do now? Where do we go from here? I have taken on board your comments and we shall proceed accordingly now some people came up with a very very good idea I just hope it works recently there has been a, uh, a jihad called against uh, was it Jerusalem in the last session why don't we have a crusade of our own Yes, a crusade against a, 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 a people that have dared to strike out at not one, but two Catholic nations. Surely the Pope cannot deny us an opportunity to bring some religious retribution against these people. That's right. We're going to try and ask old Popey if he would consider a crusade against the Moors. That will give us an opportunity to recruit further troops crusader troops with free upkeep to bolster our number especially at a time when we're struggling to create our own forces we do have a diplomat down here who could actually try and maybe sweeten the deal improve our relationship with the Pope but it's already pretty high and time is of the essence so we're gonna ask him right now what he thinks of our proposal So we have a variety of uh, choices here and wouldn't it be so appropriate for us to launch a crusade against perhaps the town that is so close to us. Granada is all the way over here, I think, is that Granada? Or is that Granada? I've completely lost track of where Granada is, or is Granada down here even? No, I think it's on here somewhere. But anyhow. Um, by, by if he accepts the crusade, we could recruit those troops, take down Seville first for minimal loss, I assume, due to strength in number, then go down to Silvers and take that. And that would put us into a, uh, a much better position, I think. So, uh, keep, your fingers, keep your fingers crossed, guys, because we're going to ask the question. It's not a not a fitting target. Why is it? Because it's just a menial little city. It's not about the size of the city, Pope. It's about the whole background of the situation. They have besmirched us. They are attacking us. And you're going to sit there and do nothing. Right. Fine. How about uh, how about Granada? How about that? Not interested. Not interested. Oh. Now we could be tactical here, and we could request a crusade against a faction uh, that has a target that the Pope would deem fit for attack. And we could still recruit the troops as part of the as part of the crusade, and then as we're en route to that target, or supposedly en route, quote unquote, we could kind of sweep through uh, the Moors lands whilst we're on the way, and then when we get to sort of down here, just kind of conveniently pull out of the crusade if that's possible. 
but that doesn't seem like the right thing to do. <laughs> so I think we're going to have to fight this one without the assistance of the Pope. Typical, isn't it? As if he was going to do us a favour, the damn dog. Right, we're going to have to fight this alone. Unless Leon can pull their fingers out. Can we move? I can't remember. I think... No, we can't. We can't. We took some troops in apparently last time into the fort and that hindered our movement points. So we're going to have to wait one more turn before we are able to move out and start our attack. So let's end the turn. Keep our fingers crossed that nothing goes t too horribly wrong. And let's get this session started proper. Our merchant is heading down towards Africa in hunt of gold. Will they get there in one piece? God only knows. I'm not done yet though. The Pope may have said no this time, but we have a we have a diplomat down near Rome who may just cross the Pope's palm with gold and then we may ask again with higher standing. Oh, they're reinforcing themselves. Oh. Where are you going? Oh my god, they are really taking it to us. They are really ramping this up. That sounds like something uh, getting blown up. Gunpowder hasn't been invented yet. What's going on? Aha! Jerusalem stands tall. For now. Yes, my lord. Keep coming. As you wish. Oh, he's blocking the yes. damn way. Oh, flipping hell. This is impossible. I cannot Path blocked. Cardinal dies. Aragorn are now at war with the Moorish Caliphate. Oh, yes, indeed. And they've joined, it looks like they perhaps have joined the Jihad, which could be really good for us because they just may take their forces and move down towards Jerusalem, leaving them exposed. Would be foolish for them to do that. But what comes first? Their own personal gain or their religion? Hmm. It remains to be seen. Hmm. We're in the green, but for how long? But for how long? Right. So they have a force here. My Sultan wishes you dead. You being spear, spear Simply militia, crossbow militia. It's a relatively threatening force. They have a force here. Him she, infidel, or face the might of Islam. It's kind of just stood there, almost menacingly, threateningly, not quite encroaching into our lands, but giving us a bit of a warning. I was considering coming down to Silvez first to take this. That seemed to be the popular choice. However, with this army on the border, we head down here. He's free to head right here into an open target. We can't afford that to happen. We're going to have to take this army down and probably take Seville first. That seems like the, the correct thing to do. Okay, um, let's just sort some diplomatic stuff out, shall we? Before we get into the actual battle part. I'm sure you're all itching to see what happens. Uh, he, is it going to be worth our time and effort? Is there something I can do for you? Pope Paschalis the Peaceful. That's why he doesn't want a crusade. He, doesn't, he spins a tale about not a suitable target when really he just, I don't like war. No, I'm just going to sit here and, and be run over. Oh yes, they can walk all over me like a like a carpet. Yes, I'm just going to sit here like a shag pile. Stupid man. Uh, should we offer payment as a gift to try and raise our popular... Uh, popularity with him in the hope that he would accept this target as uh, how about if we ask him if he would join the war against the Moors and then perhaps he would consider their targets more viable the diplomatic options we have are not quite endless but they are numerous and he's getting a lot more uh, influence as he's been going through uh, Europe. 
That's all Damio paver. How much money we got? Twenty-three thousand. We can afford to. We can afford to try it. It's a thousand florins. It's it's the Pope. We're just gonna try it. Honest questions bring honest answers. Appreciative. They're offering trade rights if we give them 230. So they don't even want to accept our gift. He won't be bought. Trust us to have a pope with morals. I don't really want trade rights, but fine. If it increases our our relationship, then that is good. Elated. 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 Right. Can you join our war against the moles? They besmirch the Christian name. Name your price. How could you ask these of us? Never. Okay. So in one hand we please him, and in the other we tick him off. Such is the life, eh? Such is the life of diplomacy. This meeting was worse than fruitless. Oh, and we still remain in the same in the same favour. This is not good. This is not good. He's not going to have it, is he? He's not going to have it. He is not interested. Right. So, uh, yes. do we still need our our Sancha down here to to diplomatically do things? I don't think so. I don't think so. So we've got the Aragon are in the war. So the three Spanish nations, Leon, Portugal, and Aragon, are all in the fight now. So very well. She can go and try to find day. some further trade because we're going to need every damn last penny we can get. Okay, we're going to try one more time, one more time until he until he bends until he bends the knee. <laughs> Silvez. Curse you, Pope. You're a flipping pain in my ass. Fine, King Enrique will not sit here whilst his people are being besmirched. If the Pope won't do anything, we'll do it our damn self. Yes. You dare, you dare to attack me and my people? Big flipping mistake. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. The day is ours. The enemy are beaten. Okay, now we have a situation on our hands here because uh, they've retreated back. Will we drag them out into a field fight? I think we will. I will not waste words on you, in which case, land, this is the best opportunity that we are going to have to capture Seville. If we bring them all out into a field battle, there'll be reinforcements and they won't be... You know, they won't be at the same part of the map. They'll, they'll be a little bit further away. We can take them in two bits. This is our best chance to take Silver Seville with minimal losses. I think we have a, polit uh, a military advantage here. A tactical advantage. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to save it because i got a feeling things are going to kick off very shortly. Right, let's get stuck in. Let's draw first blood. Yes. yes. Crossing for battle. Oh well, not quite what I was hoping. Only the uh, the captain here has been uh, reinf uh, reinforcing. They're staying put in their castle. All right. Army um, strength ratio twenty to seven. We're fighting this one, folks. See you on the battlefield. Men, bring out people. Alright, so um, we had a bit of a crash problem there. The game crashed just as we were trying to load the battle. So we'll try it again. If it crashes for a second time, then we'll auto-resolve this one and try a different battle. We'll try the battle to take Seville. Um, I don't know what's going on. I, I do know there are some issues with this game in terms of crashing and things uh, with this mod. Hopefully it was just a one-off. So, should we try again? Take two, and action! Yes, my lord. This is where Here we go, it's Bakr al-Andalese and Captain Mackey versus King Enrique, the aspiring commander. Let's try again. Men, bring out people honor, glory, and most of all... 
Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Yes, we didn't crash. Apparently, if you leave it long enough, there is a battle speech. So I'll just just we'll just wait patiently. Very patiently. Ah! By the saints, this is a moment worth savoring. All is done. We have put our faith in God. We face a foe to test our metal. I stand before a valiant company of soldiers. Only the small matter of a battle remains. Look to your arms and prepare your souls. If our Moorish foes had any sense, they would flee back to the scorpions and snakes that father them. Huh. For shame, they would not face gold hearts, let alone brave men at arms. Yes, the stakes, the coward people. Our heavy troops should see good service, for I see that the enemy have no troops with far locks or the like. Saint Barbara be thanked. And now I will see blood spilt, blood of plenty. I would dance about in lakes of blood for sport, aye, and decorate my hat with gizzards too. Let's away and kill them all! Come on! He's not bad. He's not bad at giving speeches. He's not bad. Not quite as good as Ambrose, but he's not bad. We'll give him his due. Right. Um, we've got quite a lot of troops here. I mean, I'm not used to controlling an army this size. Uh, I still need to get my bearings and good control. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So we're going to group them up, I think. We have... These guys are actually javelin men. They can fight in hand-to-hand. -hand. They can fight in hand-to-hand. -hand. Um, and they're not too bad. They've got the archers. Probably have better range. Uh, let's get them in single line. Then we have the, sp we have the spears. Uh, Andalusian infantry. All right. Maceman didn't realise. Okay. There we go. So we put the javelin there. Put the spears just in front. I mean the, the archers there, and the horses will just kind of... Where's the other horses? Horses! There we go. General, just kind of meander about there. That'll do. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. They can bring their damn reinforcements. It's not going to do a damn thing. How do we move these guys forward in... Uh, I think they're coming to us. How do we move these forward in line? Desert archers. You need to take those down pretty quickly, to be quite honest with you. Are they running towards us like maniacs? I fear for my life. I'm so hopeless at battles. I'm fearing for my safety. They got, they got, they got archers one, archers two. They got spear militia, spear militia, spear militia. I mean, we've got strength in numbers. We should not be fearful. Gotta be a way to move them forward in line. I completely forgot. Do you hold shift? I think. Shift and click. We're under attack already. We're under attack already. Um, we better run. I was just gonna have to mosh pit these guys. Just gonna have to mosh pit them. Just use our. Our, our strength in numbers because their desert archers are better than our archers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, take my archers out to the flanks here if I can. Take the horses out to the flank as well. Let's get the general this side. Top of the hill. Let's get a nice hill charge going possibly. Get, wheel these guys round. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All these. Spear militia. Spear militia. Spear militia. Go, 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 go! Who are these? Where's they? Here come the spear militia! 
There's the archers. Let's get the backs. Let's get the backs. The battle is in Come our here. favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Do you want to move your backsides? Here comes the king. My king is here. He's getting ready to charge down the hill on the archers. Maceman. Let's go, let's go. Just hold the lines. We have uh, spearmen routing already. Attack! Okay, there we go, there we go. What are these guys doing here? Seriously, get the hell! Spear Militia. We're gonna have to take down their General's Bodyguard because they're causing absolute mayhem here. Absolute mayhem. Are they running? No, they're reloading. They're not really doing a great deal. Spear militia, eager, warmed up. Right, come on, let's just chop these guys down. Come on. They're running, they're running. Kingdom of Portugal, okay. Could really do with mopping these guys up. We're losing we're losing men. Moorish bodyguard. Twelve men left. Our king has this under control. This has been a bit of a mess, it must be said, but uh, it's fine, it's fine. We wanna take these guys down because we don't want them running back into their castle. We don't want to run into the castle. Come chase them down! Chase them down! How many men left? Seven men. Kill this man! Five men. I have no idea where he is. I can't see the difference. They look the same colour. Good work. The enemy general lies dead. Good. Good riddance to that desert dog. Good riddance. Death will break his immense resolve. Here we go. Men will fly. That's right. Know your place. Beneath my hooves! We'll take care of this, folks. Don't worry. Right, just get yourselves into some semblance of order here. Reform the lines. Archers, come up here. We can pepper from the sides. You guys, come. Come, 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 come. Here we go! King is coming in! With the lances down! Run down those worthless peasants! Let's run down those peasants. Right, we need to get ourselves. Wise to praise the day before sunset, but our charge in the backs in a minute. We're gonna charge in the backs. Here we go, let's finish this off. Here come the horses, coming down the hill. She'll be riding round the mountain. When she comes, they're wavering. Here we go. Whoosh. Enemy flees the battle. Run down those weapons. Whoa, we just mowed them down completely. <laughs> they went from a full unit to six men in seconds. Fighting to the death, it's fine. Let them fight. It's a 
Let them die. One man left and they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. Can we catch these guys? We're going to speed this up. We've lost a few men, it must be said. This was not without cost. Felt like we lost a bit of control of that battle, to be quite honest with you, but uh, a victory is a victory, <laughs> no matter how scruffy. I don't want any of their men, or very minimal men, getting back into their castle here, so... Uh, God, they're going to make it, aren't they? Damn you! Damn you to hell! That'll do. That'll do. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. So uh, they lost 900 men. We lost 413. Okay, it seems like we did a minimal amount of friendly fire, which is good. Casualties inflicted. Mailed knights, 127 with the most. The general's bodyguard with 87. And then the Spear Militia there did 56. Not bad. Not a bad result. So first blood goes to King Enrique. And if, we, if you even think we are going to hand back their men willy-nilly for a bit of coin or out of the goodness of our heart, you're sadly mistaken! <laughs> Them apart, my lord. Victory. Okay. Yeah, we are looking a little bit worse for wear in terms of numbers, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll shall merge the troops and see what we're playing with here. All right. All right. Let's have a look at our unit producing capabilities. If we need reinforcements, we can reinforce with some spear militia. We can reinforce with some peasants. Can we recruit some mercenaries in this province? See, I don't think this button seems to be working. Last time we were in the field here like this, we managed to be able to recruit through some other method. Yeah, by right-clicking on the uh, on the general. Can't recruit. Command me. We shall send them to hell or worse. But we can besiege. They will relent, my lord. I got a feeling. Them trapped here, Yala. My Sultan wishes you dead. He might not have enough movement points to reinforce here. Relations abysmal with the Moorish. They bought it on themselves. Don't, bring, don't try to make it like it's my fault. We were quite content as neighbours. They struck the first blow. My lord. Okay, so we're besieging Seville after our victory in the field. This wasn't a spectacular victory, but it's a victory and... It's what we need to build momentum, to build no confidence. It's what we need. Right, but he's the diplomat. Noble Lord. Um, let's continue on our journey. Naturally. Eastwards. And continue with trade speak. rights and map information of far distant lands. Yes. There's nothing else we can do, really. Um, Just gotta hope that Leon come down with a nice big army and distract these guys somehow. Aragon, if you come, it's, it's pretty you can sort of order the other factions into into positions. You know, you could Aragon, Aragon, you come down from this side and hit them there. Leon, you come down from the centre and smash them here. We'll pick them off from this side. Free pronged attack. It's just a damn shame, isn't it? Okay, here we go. <laughs> what are they going to do? Oh. The sooner you stop preaching, the better. What's that army doing? <clears throat> what is that army doing? Captain Umaya, where is he going? He's going nowhere. They stand gawping. They stand shell-shocked, perhaps, that we have killed one of their family members. Perhaps they have petrified and have heard of King Enrique. He may not be a, 
battle-hardened commander. He may be a little bit uh, tactically inept at times, but it's just the, the morale of the man, the authority he holds. We dare not approach him. Right, welcome back. He crashed again. Uh, this is not a good sign. The only thing I can think of, perhaps, is that I'm using DX Tor instead of Fraps this time. I don't know. Maybe that's causing a little conflict somehow. I don't know. Maybe it's the mod. Not so sure. But uh, we'll continue on for this session uh, for the for the time being. This might well be the last turn, though, until I try and sort this problem out. Do apologise. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so we are the end turn phase. I reloaded the game and the end turn phase uh, had saved, thankfully. So we are exactly as we were as we pressed the end turn button, um, which means we are ready to strike out at Seville. It appears that the uh, Aragonese or the Leonese, they haven't moved any forces into the Moorish lands. They're at war in, 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 in word only. Yeah. We don't need words. We need flipping action. And we are the only ones to be taking any action right now, and that suits us just fine. The eager king ready to take another land for the good of Portugal! Right, my lord. We march on our victims. Army strength ratio two to one. This is not very much this is not a, a cakewalk here. This is not a cakewalk. This is going to be like it was. This is a castle. We've got Nubian spears times two. We have javelin men. These guys, three and eight. We're gonna have to get up the walls. What do we do? Do we fight this on the battle map? It's a wooden castle. They're gonna have towers peppering us. We only have spears. We have some mercenary men. Would the computer lose more men than me? It's. I think it's probably 50-50. We're gonna fight. My general rule in the uh, original series was if it was an army strength ratio of more than 3 to 1, we'd uh, auto-resolve. This is only 2 to 1. We need to fight. We need to fight! We need to deploy. No time for speeches here. This needs to happen, and it needs to happen now. It needs to happen fast. Right, we, they don't have a massive amount of troops. We have far greater uh, numbers here. So what we're going to do... So we're going to have uh, two sets of ladders. In fact, three sets of ladders. Um, go to this side. I don't know if three sets of ladders actually will be able to, uh, to to reach three separate portions of the wall here, but we're going to try. So uh, we'll take those around there. Hopefully they will be able to get in and get across and get over, and that will give us control of the gates, perhaps, possibly. Two sets of ladders this side, so one there and one there. I got a feeling that we're going to be peppered, of course. The Ram, um, Lusitanian Javelin men, only 55. Well, that's, that's a smaller target to aim at, of course. We should have put them in loose formation. They'll be under fire, no doubt, from uh, a variety of, uh, of 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 arrow fire and, and tower tower fire. It's going to be going to be going to be bloody. This is not going to be easy at all. Male knights, the general, the archers, of course, will be no use at this moment in time. Just kind of put them here. Let's get the spearmen ready. In case we get the, 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 the doors open, get some spearmen ready to run up the ladders. Okay. There we go. So that should do us. Wow, there? That's quite a long distance. Right, they have javelin men or skirmishers, and they have spearmen there. Just try and get the gates down to start with. So whilst they're going through the gates down and distracting them, we shall... Well, they, they have actually bought men here. Nubian Spears, 191 Nubian Spears. So there's one there. Yeah, three separate spots there. Those three separate spots. So three separate spots for three ladders. We've got Andalusian infantry. We've got spear militia, and we've got uh, macemen going up the walls. We're getting shot with arrow fire. This is going to be so bad, so so bad. There will be losses. 
It will be bloody, but we will win. Ladders up the walls. Up the walls, come on. Let's do this. Should we be running them? I think so. We're going to get tired though. Run them when I get a bit closer. These guys aren't in loose formation. This is very bad form. Run. Now run. Now run. There's no tower fire here actually. Back into non-loose formation. Doesn't help you when you're fighting when you're in loose formation. Right, come on. Get up the flippy walls, man. The battering ram is in place. Right. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. King is eager and impatient here. Get these walls. Get these doors. Open. Run. Run. Get in behind, folks. Get in behind. Get ready. How many men are left here? Look at that. <laughs> 25. They've pulled back. They're pulled back. They're pulling out. They're pulling out. They, 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 have, they have given up. They're pulling out. Let's get in. Get in! They are pulling into the city! The square! The they're castle lands. square! They're pulling in! They're pulling in! They're, they're, they're running like cowardly dogs! We knew all along they were no match for us. The nerve of these people. Get the doors open! The battle is in our favour. If we remain true and wholehearted, Victory will be ours. Indeed it will. It will be ours. It will be glorious. These cursed people will not know what has hit them. Right. Guys, inside. Inside, please. Where the hell are you going? Knock the gates open! I think we've taken the gates. I think the gates are going to be open any second now. I think so. Our soldiers have yes! Their worth yes! Today. Get the in! Walls belong to us now. In! I want everybody inside now! We will formulate our plan of attack. Once we're inside. Everybody in? Everybody in? Right, we're in. We have got in really unscathed, to be quite honest with you. They have not made use of their towers or their... Uh, look, they're just all packing into the into the square. What we need to do is we just need to come from different angles. So we need to send some troops from this side, send some troops from this side, send some troops from this side, and just literally surround them and crush them. It's going to be bloody. It's going to be a massive moss pit. But what can you do? That's the way they want to play this. Pulling all their troops back into the central area. That's the only option we have available to us. So just surround and kill. And hope that we don't lose too many men. Right, so you guys, we've got three... Three units here. They're going to have to come... Round to there. And take this. Uh, take them down from this side. Oh, 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 what the hell are you doing? You idiots, man! In fact, come back, come back, come back! Jesus! Talk about moronic people! You have range advantage against javelins and you go running in like morons? Come on, run, you fools! Come back here!
Goodness gracious! Right, if we go here with the archers, we might be able to draw these guys into some action by peppering them with fire. Right, we're going to take a portion of the troops. Uh, we'll take a portion of the troops this way and try and get around the back. Can we waypoint these idiots? They're going completely the wrong way. I have no idea where the general's going. He's charged in like a maniac. We're losing control of this. We're losing control. How are these guys doing? Very, very nicely. They seem to be more organised coming round. Just come on. That's right. Just keep coming. Nice and steady. Don't waste your energies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Goodbye. Goodbye, men. We're drawing them. We're drawing them out. We're drawing them out. It's fine. We're drawing them out. This is not quite what we were hoping for. <laughs> We've uh, screwed up here. Oh, flipping hell. This has gone a bit wrong. Right, run. Run quickly, please. I want all units taking down this general. Now. I don't care where you're from, who you are. As soon as this general dies, we should be okay. We, we should have a... You'll be a spearman. What are you doing? Are you really coming for the general? Come on, men! Come on! That's right! Didn't see us coming from behind, did you? Because you're messing around down here. It's unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Here we go! Come on in! And take him down! Toot the horn! Rooty tooty! Here comes the Nubian Spears. And they come this way. Here we go, look at that Spear Militia. Peeking round the corner. Drawing him in. Meanwhile, the General is ready to strike. I think. The king, he's going back into his little square here. It's just going to have to be now. Big, big, big attack in the square. It's not pretty, I'm afraid to say. It's not very pretty at all, but what could you do? Take, um... Take a unit there to pin these guys down. Pin down. Pin them down quickly. Pin these guys down. Stop them from reinforcing into the square. Pin them down. The rest of the guys can continue on their path. With these guys pinned down, our general will come from behind. These are... Uh, seven cavalry left. We got, we got the man down. The man is almost down. Go! Go, 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 go! Come on! Flank! Flank attack! Pour into the square! Flank this man! Get him down and lower their morale! Come on! Why are you not running very quickly? It's like slow motion! That 
was not quite the uh, charge we were hoping for, it must be said. It's like the speed of a snail. Absolute speed of a snail. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How many men are here? Excellent! Our men have taken control of the castle. Right, this this is we two men left, including the damn family member, he's going crazy. Lobbing javelins in their backs. Wise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Come on, this is not happening as quickly or as effectively as I would have liked. Uh, can't get a charge, it's too narrow. men have slain the Saracen general. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. Oh. We've got him. We've got him. Stop him from getting into the square. They have lost half their men. He's still alive. He's the last man. Oh no, the general's down. This is his last bodyguard member. But this must be game over now. Must be. Yeah, we've got him. We've got him now. Just picking up the dregs. This castle is ours, but not for not not without loss. I'm afraid to have to say, but we'll see the numbers at the end. We'll see the numbers. I can still hear the sound of people fighting. There we go. They're they're, not, they're, they're, they're fighting to the end. Got to give them their dues. Got to give them their props here. Finish him off. Finish him off. Any more for any more? Nope, these guys are cheering. They're happy. The king, the, the king is nearby. Don't leave the square, please. Just in case. I don't know where on earth... There we go. Victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Let's read the numbers. If we've lost any less than okay, 400 men again. Ooh. So they say they killed 483, but we only lost 432. So some men were revived, revived and brought back to life with some medicine. So that's good. That's good. See, we're in trouble now because this army here would be would be definitely a match for us. We show little mercy. They deserve none. We have crushed them. This place is yours, my lord. This green. We need every last man here. We need every last man to uh, to reinforce our troop number. We're not desperate for money, so we're just going to occupy. Can we recruit? We can recruit javelin men. Lusitanian javelinmen, levy archers. We can't recruit from here for four turns, however, but we can retrain the troops. Right, we need to uh, yes. to merge them and then re retrain. Oh, are we retraining actually because of an increase of? Um, have they got an armorer here? Yes, they have a leather tanner. We're actually retraining their uh, their armor. Two at a time. 
Slow and steady. Right, small chapel, a brothel, a logging camp, a public gallows. What do we need here? It's a castle. Our religion is weak in terms of Catholic, so we could do with that, but I think uh, land cleanliness would be uh, more beneficial to start with. And, and uh, King Enrique's authority is absolutely as high as it can be. He speaks and everybody listens whilst quivering fearing his wrath if they do not carry out his orders to the letter okay we can actually recruit some more troops from here so we can recruit uh, a unit of Jeanettes we can recruit these we can recruit a unit of uh, uh, a unit of spear here we're gonna have to do it we need as many troops coming out of our ears as possible and archers so these guys are going to be recruited and they're going to come and they're going to try and reinforce at Seville where possible. But uh, we, we have taken Seville. What is going to happen next? I have a feeling they may attack us. We better repair. We better prepare, repair, prepare because they are probably going to come back. And they won't be happy, but we have the castle, we have the settlement, we have the, the walls, the towers to assist us if they do attack to give us some kind of an advantage. We are recruiting troops. But Porto needs to build, he needs to build something. Now is time for land clearance. Now is the time. Our spy will remain here, just to keep an eye on the situation. But all in all, I think we're done for today. So uh, let me know what do you think we should be doing next. The uh, the Moors have uh, just a ragtag number here, just a small contingent at Silvers. This is where most of their strength is. Their capital at Cordoba, uh, Captain Umea here with some some troops that could do us some severe damage if we uh, are caught unawares. We've got the troops coming from our lands. The Pope doesn't want to have a crusade against them, although we may ask again. Hello, Your Highness. She is heading Happily, my lord. to further lands. Oh, she's blocked. I shall stop here for the night. Damn you and your damn blocking people. Noble lord. Stop blocking me! Surely, my lord. Have we spoken to Venice? I think we have. On my way. Very good, my lord. Alright. So there we go. So join me next time and we shall continue to wage war against the Moors. Will Leon show their face? Will Aragon show their face? Or are they just going to leave it to us to do all the work and then claim the, the glory for themselves? Let me know your thoughts. Keep your chips and hints coming. It's been very useful. And uh, don't forget there is a forum where people are creating some characters. And if you want to get involved in a little bit of role play, link in the description. Head over there. Have a bit of fun. Uh, so until next time, see you soon.